birth of xenobots, a new frontier in life. In the hushed halls of a laboratory nestled within the rolling hills of Vermont, a remarkable journey was about to unfold, one that would challenge the very essence of life itself. Dr. Emily Chen, a passionate biologist known for her keen curiosity and innovative spirit, had always believed in the extraordinary potential of living cells. But today, she was part of a team set to push the boundaries of biology in ways that few could have imagined. On a crisp January morning in 2020, Emily and her colleagues gathered around a large screen in their lab. The air was thick with anticipation as they prepared to unveil their latest creation, a new form of life they had engineered from the cells of the African clawed frog, Xenopus levis. Emily had spent countless hours working with these cells, but today felt different. As she pressed the button to bring the three-dimensional model to life, her heart raced with excitement and trepidation. Meet the Xenobot, she announced, her voice echoing in the room. The small blob-like organism moved across the screen, pulsing rhythmically. It was a living entity, yet one that had been designed with specific functions in mind. The researchers marveled at what they had created a self-healing, programmable organism capable of swimming, moving, and even interacting with its environment. Each xenobot was a testament to the fusion of biology and technology, a living robot that could perform tasks previously relegated to the realm of science fiction. Emily felt a surge of hope. This could change everything. As weeks turned into months, the team delved deeper into the complexities of xenobot behavior. Using advanced computational models, they learned how to manipulate the cells, allowing the organisms to navigate obstacles, collect tiny particles, and even deliver therapeutic agents. Emily was captivated by the prospect of creating life that could think, move, and act with purpose. With every successful experiment, she felt like an artist sculpting a masterpiece from the very fabric of life. Yet, as they celebrated each milestone, an undercurrent of concern began to weave its way through Emily's thoughts. The ethical implications of their work weighed heavily on her mind. What did it mean to create life? Could they truly control these new organisms? With the power to engineer living beings came an immense responsibility, and Emily felt the burden keenly. One evening, lost in thought, Emily sat alone in her office, surrounded by images of xenobots on her computer screen. She envisioned their potential applications, delivering targeted therapies to cancer cells, cleaning up microplastics from oceans, and serving as biosensors to detect health anomalies. The possibilities were exhilarating, yet she couldn't help but wonder about the unforeseen consequences of introducing these engineered organisms into the world. The first major presentation of their findings was scheduled for an upcoming conference, and Emily felt a mix of excitement and anxiety. Standing before an audience, she would share not only their groundbreaking discoveries, but also the weight of their ethical dilemmas. She prepared diligently, crafting her message to inspire wonder while addressing the complex questions surrounding their work. As the day of the conference arrived, Emily took the stage, her heart pounding in her chest. She presented the team's journey, showcasing the xenobots and their unique capabilities. The room was filled with scientists, ethicists, and curious minds eager to hear about the intersection of life and technology. When she finished her presentation, applause erupted, but a palpable tension lingered in the air. A young woman in the audience raised her hand, her expression serious. What safeguards are in place to ensure these creatures don't pose a risk to our ecosystems, she asked. Emily took a deep breath, recognizing the gravity of the question. We are committed to rigorous testing and regulation, she replied earnestly, but it's crucial for all of us scientists, policymakers, and the public to engage in open discussions about the implications of this technology. The conversation continued long after the conference ended. As news of the Xenobots spread, public forums sprang up, inviting people from diverse backgrounds to engage in discussions about the ethical dimensions of this new technology. Emily found herself deeply invested in these dialogues, realizing that understanding the societal impact of their creation was as vital as the science itself. Weeks turned into months, and the excitement around xenobots grew. Their potential for environmental remediation, targeted drug delivery, and even personalized medicine captured the imaginations of people worldwide. 
Emily felt a profound sense of fulfillment, knowing that their work could lead to a healthier planet and improved human lives. However, with this excitement came scrutiny. Ethical debates erupted across platforms, questioning the definition of life and the responsibilities of creators. Emily grappled with the implications of their work, often reflecting on the age-old philosophical questions surrounding existence. Were these organisms merely tools, or did they possess a spark of life that warranted respect? Late one night, as she sat at her desk, Emily pondered the ecological risks. What if xenobots escaped into the wild and interacted with natural ecosystems in unforeseen ways? The potential for ecological disruption loomed large in her mind. This fear pushed her to advocate for stringent regulations and comprehensive testing protocols before any release into the environment. In response to public interest, the team organized outreach programs to educate communities about xenobots. They visited schools, community centers, and scientific gatherings, aiming to demystify their work and foster an informed public dialogue. Emily relished these interactions, witnessing firsthand the curiosity and enthusiasm of young minds eager to learn. As the outreach efforts continued, Emily met a diverse array of people, students, parents, and even local policymakers. Many were captivated by the idea of living robots, while others expressed concern about the ethical implications. One particularly poignant conversation took place with a group of high school students who asked her about the potential for xenobots to become sentient. Are they alive like us? One student asked, wide-eyed. Emily paused, considering her response. They are alive in the sense that they are made of living cells and can perform tasks, but their consciousness, if it exists, is vastly different from human awareness. It's a fascinating question we're still exploring. Emily left that session feeling a renewed sense of purpose. Engaging with the community reinforced her belief that scientists had a responsibility to communicate their work transparently, addressing concerns, and inspiring curiosity. She was determined to ensure that the public would be an integral part of the conversation surrounding xenobots. As the months passed, Emily's team published more findings, showcasing the versatility of xenobots in various applications. They demonstrated how these organisms could navigate complex environments and even work collaboratively to achieve tasks. Each success fueled their ambition, but the ethical discussions continued to loom. One day, Emily was invited to participate in a panel discussion alongside ethicists and environmentalists. As she listened to various perspectives, she felt a sense of urgency in the room. The potential for xenobots to revolutionize medicine and environmental science was tempered by the need for caution and responsibility. Emily spoke passionately about the importance of collaboration among scientists, policymakers, and the public to navigate these uncharted waters. Later that evening, after the panel concluded, a young ethicist approached her. I appreciate your insights, Dr. Chen, he said, but how can we ensure that these creations don't lead to unintended consequences? Emily sighed, aware of the complexities involved. We need to establish a framework for responsible innovation, she replied. This includes not only rigorous testing, but also ongoing monitoring and regulation once xenobots are introduced into the environment. As the weeks turned into months, the discussions surrounding xenobots evolved, embracing a more holistic approach that prioritized ethical considerations alongside scientific progress. Emily and her team worked tirelessly to draft policies that addressed safety, environmental impact, and equitable access to the technology. They engaged with experts across disciplines, recognizing that the challenges they faced required a multifaceted response. Through this collaborative effort, they developed guidelines for testing and monitoring xenobots in real-world applications. They explored partnerships with environmental organizations and healthcare providers, ensuring that their work aligned with societal needs and values. Emily felt hopeful as they established a framework that prioritized not just innovation, but also the well-being of people and the planet. One afternoon, Emily received an email that brought a smile to her face. It was an invitation to present their findings at an international conference focused on bioethics and technology. Excited about the opportunity, she eagerly prepared her presentation, highlighting not only the scientific advancements, but also the ethical considerations that had shaped their journey. 
As she took the stage at the conference, she felt a mix of pride and responsibility. She shared the story of Xenobots, their birth, their potential, and the lessons learned along the way. The audience was captivated, and as she concluded her presentation, she invited questions. Hands shot up, and the dialogue that followed was rich and enlightening. Can Xenobots adapt to changing environments? A researcher asked, intrigued. They can, Emily replied, which is one of their most exciting features. But adaptability also means we need to be vigilant about potential ecological impacts. Another participant raised a critical point. What about the socioeconomic implications? Will this technology be accessible to all, or will it widen the gap between developed and developing nations? Emily nodded, acknowledging the concern. It's crucial that we address these disparities. We're actively working on partnerships that ensure equitable access to the benefits of Xenobot technology. As the conference wrapped up, Emily felt invigorated by the depth of the discussions. The engagement of so many voices underscored the importance of collaborative dialogue in shaping the future of Xenobots. She returned to her lab with a renewed sense of purpose, ready to tackle the challenges that lay ahead. Back at the lab, the team continued their work with zeal. The lab Xenobots had become more than just a scientific endeavor. They were symbols of hope and possibility. Emily and her colleagues often gathered to brainstorm new applications, envisioning a world where xenobots could address pressing issues, from pollution to disease. Yet, as they forged ahead, the ethical landscape remained a constant presence. Emily and her team understood that with every advancement came new questions and responsibilities. They committed themselves to ongoing research and open dialogue, recognizing that the journey of xenobots was not merely a scientific quest, but a profound exploration of what it means to create and nurture life. As she looked out at the stars one night, Emily reflected on the path they had traveled. The birth of Xenobots had opened a new frontier, one filled with promise and uncertainty. But with determination, collaboration, and a commitment to ethical principles, she believed they could navigate the complexities ahead. In this brave new world of biological engineering, Emily felt a deep sense of responsibility. They were not just creators of living organisms. They were stewards of a delicate balance between innovation and ethics. And with that thought, she returned to her work, invigorated by the possibilities and determined to ensure that the legacy of Xenobots would be one of hope, progress, and respect for the intricate tapestry of life.